So Nathan, I was watching TV the other night and I had the most butt clenching moment of all. I was watching a movie called Free Solo, which is about this dude who climbs El Capitan, which is a sheer wall of rock without a rope. So it's not the guy who made the Kessel Run in 12 Parsecs. It's some guy who climbed a mountain. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not Han Solo. Uh, but that movie inspired Jeep to build that concept behind us. We're at the 2019 Easter Jeep Safari and that concept is the gravity concept. Based on the movie, so let's learn a little bit more about it. You know, Nathan, uh, when one is driving prototype Jeeps here at the Easter Jeep Safari, one works up an appetite. That's right, baby. Nothing really happens that appetite like beef jerky. Yeah, especially Paisley's beef jerky, which is local and grass-fed. That's right, baby. Anytime is jerky time. Oh, yeah. Behind you, as you mentioned, is their gravity concept. Um, and I'm kind of reluctant to saying it's a concept because everything on this vehicle except the graphics are all production tent, and you can buy them from our catalog today. So it's it's referred to as a rolling catalog, essentially. So you can build this thing up exactly the way it sits right now. Even with the color on the two bars? Absolutely. Um, and our designer in the studio was inspired um, by, by the movie, and he wanted to create a theme revolving around that, that rock climbing film, which is incredible. I mean, what, what better fitting is an extreme Jeep like this? Um, you know, it goes along with an extreme uh, adventure of, of free soloing. Out of all of the vehicles I've driven today, the Gravity has to be one of the best riding vehicles. And the cool part is this is basically a vehicle you can get out the showroom. You can buy everything from JPP products. So. The lift, wheels, all this stuff, you can buy it. I am no mountain climber, however, I'm pretty sure you need a lot of this stuff when you go up a hill. There are actually chairs, ropes, blankets, tents, hopefully a cooler in there somewhere. The point is, is that the basket and all this other stuff you can actually order. The stuff inside of it, not so much, but that's okay because the chair and the cooler are perfect for me to watch Roman climb a mountain. So the deck product in the in the bed, our uh, rack system that gives you that ability to carry your cargo. Um, in this case, we have a tent, we have rope, we have um, you know chairs, everything you need um, if you're doing an adventure like that. And if you come around back, I'll drop the gate for you, and you can see in detail um, the deck product that we have. And you know, again, you can put your gear in. You got your helmet, you got your carabiner, you got all your equipment that you need for. Um, in this case, free soloing or any rock climbing event. And, uh, you know, in the movie, um, this was essentially the only thing the, the gentleman was wearing uh, in the film. On the other side, uh, you have even more storage. So, uh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. So you notice the, the ice is not melting. They're, they're fake ice cubes. No, that's, that's uh, cheap performance the, ice cubes, the, actually. The, they just don't help. <laughs> Very cool. All together driving this thing, it feels absolutely the lightest. They pulled the doors off, they pulled everything off. There's nothing on it. And because of that, you lose a lot of that extra girth, you lose a lot of that extra weight. I know, I know, I can stand to lose it as well. But the point is, is that when you lose all that and pull it away, you have a much faster vehicle. Power weight ratio completely changes. And because of that, this thing feels like it wants to take off. It's kind of tugging at the leash. You know what makes a Jeep completely unique in all the truck world? It's this. It's the fact that it can be a convertible. You can fold down the front windshield, you can remove the top, and if you want wind in your hair, you don't necessarily need all these Jeep performance parts, but if you want a convertible, the Gladiator is the only one that is, at least today, on the menu. I mean, the roof's off, and we got a bikini top up top that right. shades you from the sun. 
uh, the windshields uh, you know, draped forward. I mean, it just gives you that full open air experience. I think that's the really significant part about this. And obviously the, the concept that, um, the free solo concept that revolves around it, I think gives it an added little character and some, some excitement, you know. The open top, having no windshield in front of you, basically having almost no doors. That's so awesome. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get me one of these, but maybe not orange. Of course, a lot of these concepts are basically catalogs for Jeep performance parts, like these uh, two-inch tube doors. But what I like is that Jeep has gone out of their way to make this a vehicle for both guys and gals, because if you look over here, there's a young lady free soloing, and on the other side, well, why don't you show them? The designer that worked on this vehicle um, really paid attention to some of the elements in the movie, so it's kind of modeled after the El Capitan uh, effort that was uh, filmed in the, uh, in the movie. Well, I really appreciate this tour of this vehicle. This is a lot of fun. It's really cool to think that you can actually pretty much buy this. So check this out guys, look at this sticker. This is actually available. And this shows every generation. The Wrangler, look at that. All the way down. And the only reason why you don't have the current generation is because it's right here. Nathan, fun fact, you know that uh, the seven slotted grill didn't come into official existence till 1992? Yeah, and there are other Jeep products that don't have a seven slotted grill in the past, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, like for instance, our Comanche, it's got I think it's got eight or nine slots. It's, yeah, it didn't, now it's a thing, but it wasn't a thing for a long time. You know, Nathan, uh, this gravity concept is about as close to free soloing as I will ever get. Yeah, it's not exactly the Millennium Falcon, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Wrong movie, right? <laughs> Wrong movie, once again. Maybe they should do a concept based around, how many parsecs was it? 12. Okay, 12 parsecs, yeah, that could be next year. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, check out TFL truck.com for more news, views, and what, Nathan? Real World Moab Reviews. Would you a free solo? Oh, yeah, sure. It's going down. <laughs> it's fast going down. Yeah, with a parachute.